Here we are with Henry Newman, the new academy manager for Barnet FC. Henry, the youth team got back underway on Saturday with a 3 or draw against Leighton Orient. Was it good to get underway? Yeah, pleasing to be back, Tom. Um, pre season is always important to get some games under your belt, but you always want to wait for the first league game of the season. And we put in a good performance against Orient, who are a strong side with a majority second year team. We finished strongly in the league last year as well, and we're pleased to get a 3 or draw, although ultimately it was a game we actually should have won. Yeah, and obviously the team put three goals away, having already scored 21 in their last three pre-season friendlies, so they're in quite prolific form in front of goal. Yeah, we're, you know, we're taking our chances when they come. Actually, uh, Saturday was a game whereby we probably should have scored more than three, and had we done so, obviously we would have gone on, gone on to win the game. We were 2-0 up, missed a penalty, numerous chances in the second half as well, um, which guys will see from the highlights clips that go up. And you know, it's a really positive performance on, uh, on that front. And another tough game coming up with Gillingham away this weekend. Yeah, Gills will be another tough one. They're always there or thereabouts in terms of the league position come the end of season in the in the Cat 3 league. Um, we had difficult fixtures against them last year, but again, we'll be looking to start strong like we did against uh, Orient and carry on that through to hopefully get a result. And you're a few weeks now into your new role as the academy manager. How have you found it so far being back? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, there's been a large focus along with Rossi who's on the youth team. Um, I think everyone's aware that we're probably a little bit disappointed in terms of how the under-18s 18, under have done in the last couple of years, both in relation to their performance in the league and also the players that we managed to get up to the first team. So that's one of the big things I'm focusing on, having come in, is trying to get these players over the line, both in terms of performances on a Saturday and also in terms of out, up playing with the first team. And we've already had four players up playing with the first team already, which is pleasing and we have something to build on. And it must be satisfying for you having that sort of relationship with the first team manager, knowing that the transition for your boys is even easier. Yeah, the gaff has been absolutely great in that respect. Um, we've had players down there training today, players training with them last week. There's been players who played in the game. As I said, four youth team players have been involved. Um, and it's something where he's looking, he knows that if he gets injuries, then he's got the low market, but he's also, I want him to be able to look down to us and think, yeah, there's actually genuinely players there that can step up and fill the boots of some of the first team players if and when needed. And it seems to be a very professional environment for the youth team in what you see of them around the hive, not just on the pitch but also in the classrooms with presentations and in the gym as well. Is it something that you've brought into the club, that sort of holistic approach? Yeah, we're trying to really provide just about a well-rounded uh, approach as possible in terms of the youth team so we're not leaving any stone left unturned. We've got Costas who's doing two strength and conditioning sessions with them a week and he's been absolutely prolific during pre-season in terms of getting them up to sh in shape it's been a short pre-season program as the season started a week earlier than expected. So he's had a lot of work to do and done really well on it. We've got a new match analyst in Elliot Yanzio who's doing two match analyst sessions with the guys each week. Um, Ian Guy Lowe's coming in who's uh, got a good reputation as a performance coach working on sort of team building and also the mental side of the game. He's done lots of work with players in the, Olymp uh, players in the Olympic Games and also with jockeys. And so we've actually got a group of six or, six or seven people working with the youth team now to give themselves the best opportunity to succeed on the pitch and off the pitch but also ultimately really get them into the first team. And with that group of coaching staff and so many talented players in the team it promises to be quite an exciting year for the youth team no? We're hoping so. Uh, it's something that we're taking very seriously. We're keeping everyone's feet on the ground because it'll be a big jump from going from second or third bottom of the league to you know suddenly looking to win the league but what we're saying is we're setting our standards high and putting the expectations around the place that we expect it to be a better season in terms of both performance in the league and also in terms of player progression into the first team.